Greetings players. This is the first of a series of small videos I'm making on character creation. Uh, this one is called Your Background Story. 5th edition is um, built so that you have an opportunity to pick the background you want for your character. Now let me introduce you to two different characters I create and play on a regular basis. And I'm going to try to go into their voices as I read them out. Hello there! My name is Joseph Greenbottle. I'm a halfling rogue. I, my friends call me Mouse. I was a child of the streets. I grew up admiring the street performers. I quickly saw that uh, the potential I had to climb out of the poverty, the poverty, prop, oh, I don't even like saying the word, my state of poverty I was born in was to become a bard of some kind. And you see, I have a gift with my fingers and I can play a flute quite well, just not as a proficient as a bard. So I quickly set out to learn as much as I could by playing the instrument. I attached myself to a rather rascally bard that I admired. Uh, he was a half-elf and well, turns out he was a bard in clothing only. He was actually a member of the Thieves Guild. And without my knowing, he set me on a chore that ended up getting me arrested. I'm innocent, I say. Truly innocent. I don't know why I've been branded a criminal. Well, I ended up spending three years in a local prison. A good thing happened to me in those three years, however. I finally learned how to really play uh, a flute and read music. You see, there was a, a bard that was in prison who was also a superb fencer, a master of the rapier. Every day when we were together, he would teach me a new tune, how to play my flute, and how to swing a little rapier. Now, we didn't have rapiers, of course. We had pieces of sticks that we used, and they were heavier than a rapier. So when I finally got out, I was already equipped with the strength and the knowledge on how to use a rapier. And that's all about me. Simple, clean, a small little halfling rogue. All right, let me get in the mood for my next character. Um, hello there. Flint Thunderstone, Hill Dwarf Cleric. I trained as a soldier in Neverwinter as part of a mercenary company that serves as both army and city watch. I grew disillusioned with my fellow soldiers who seemed to enjoy their authority at the expense of the people they're supposed to protect. Everything came to a head recently when I disobeyed a direct order and followed my conscience instead. I was expelled from the company and stripped of my rank. Since then, I've been devoting myself to my deity, Amonarth Dorn. That's me, Flint Thunderstone, cleric of life, soldier. Okay. Those are two simple background stories that came about by using the background feature in 5th edition. By the way, if you've been listening to the music behind me, that comes from a... Amazon account that I have which I purchased three different uh, CDs to add ambiance to my games It's just another DM tip that I use occasionally uh, In order to motivate myself and get myself in the mood to play those two characters um, I dropped off on Joseph a little bit because I had to change the background the background story a little bit as I as I spoke because I realized the background I was reading from was from a Pathfinder character uh, that was a half bard, half rogue. Uh, in this case, I could use some of the bard elements to it to explain why he was arrested, but not anything else. That's all you really need, a short snippet in character voice. Uh, I would also start off with saying, hey, my name is Jose Suarez, I'm a role player, and this is the character I brought today to play. Joseph Greenbottle, a rasky little halfling rogue thief you might say or then you might uh, introduce yourself as hello Jose Suarez I'm playing Flint Thunderstone a cleric of Nurt Denar. I hate undead and mostly I hate the way the world is run ah, got a beer slam it down har 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 and a bottle of rum 
Anyway, you see they were real simple, didn't take a lot, and I basically used the roles that I had on my character, picking out the, the various little traits and flaws that they had in order to get to the point where I can create the background story um, not as cleanly as this case because I took a background story again like I said for uh, Joseph for Pathfinder and not for 5th edition would have changed a little bit but not that much and that folks is the first tip use the background that you chose use the character build use the race that you're, of your character to come up with the small background story that background story for Joseph in particular should give a DM some general ideas like for instance yeah he's trained as a criminal and he has some musical instrument capability with a flute and he can read music but he's not really a thief he just has the training so it would explain why he's chaotic neutral tending toward chaotic good instead of any in the evil branch it would also explain why he's not a member of Zertan a Zertan, or the Zeratan, or however you want to pronounce the Z's, but actually a member of the Harpers. And it's not because of his musical talent. He has very little talent. He just likes to play the flute and entertain himself. And if anyone drops a copper in, hey, it's copper he didn't have. It works for him. But I would, I would as a DM, I would use that background story to eventually put a line in that would give uh, Joseph an opportunity to uh, attempt to clear his name of that crime that he did not commit, that he was just a patsy to. Uh, for Flint, his background story is very juicy in that it, it allows him, since he was drummed out of the military, because he would not follow an order and he never said what the order was. Okay? It's just that he found it very disagreeable to follow that order. And it's not that he's a pacifist. He's not a cleric because he doesn't want to kill. He has no problem sm smashing goblins and orcs' heads or destroying the undead. It's more like, the, what was the order? It's mine as a DM's job after hearing that is to try to figure out a, a little, in a little role playing between myself and that character, Flint, to figure out what was that unmentionable order that got him to break. That way, if I ever see that the person playing Flint is getting, ah, uh, what would you say? I would think uh, the right word would be disenchanted with the game. I can throw out a little scene. Like, for instance, so suppose he was ordered to beat a child, a small child, with a cane that he knew that child was innocent, but he was told to do it anyway to teach all the children a lesson. That's not the way he thinks. That's not the way he believes discipline should be taught, but that's what he was ordered to do. Well, let's say you're going to, uh, you're in a tavern and you're all talking and this guy comes up and all four, except for you're the cleric, want to go take it on because the cleric hasn't heard anything he likes. Well, now I can throw in a small story where this bad guy beats children. Instantly, that plays into the background story that Flint provided in a, in a small way. And it should get his ire up and all of a sudden it goes from four out of five to five out of five and Flint's leading the charge. That's how you use background stories in a game as a DM. But more importantly, that's the reason why you should create a small background story. Don't worry, your character story will grow with the campaign. It's just a matter of time and slowly giving everyone an opportunity to bring in. The more tiny pieces of background stories that you can bring into the game, the easier it is for a dungeon master to take those little tidbits of stories from all over the place and create the game into something that you are going to enjoy because you as a player become an integral part of that game. Play in the game. Player's tip number one. A small, precise background story. 
The tune behind me, by the way, is a series of Entering the Dungeon. I might be playing it in my games shortly. Have a good day. If you like, wish to share, subscribe, leave a comment below. Thank you much. Have a good day.